Hello friends, welcome to Fishers by 2018, Day 26 by Holy Spirit Interactive. My name is John Roger Anthony. Go forth, make disciples of all nations is what Jesus said. And that is a mandate to every baptized Catholic, not just to the pastors or the priests, to the preachers or the evangelists, but it is a commission given to every baptized Catholic. Go make disciples of all nations. Of all nations, mind you, not just your nation. And one unique aspect of evangelizing our own people is that many a times we are rejected. We are scrutinized very, very closely. Every single breath we take, every action, every thought, every word will be judged. And at times we are bound to fail. We are bound to not live to the expectations that the Lord has set and what we have ourselves set in front of people. We wish to preach something, but we fail to practice it because in some sense, we are also bound to fail. We are also bound to sin because no preacher, no priest, no evangelist is yet a saint as long as he lives here. Therefore, do not be discouraged that your own people don't accept you. You are not able to plant the seeds of our Lord within your own family life. The same happened in Paul's case. Paul knew and confessed to the Lord that he was the one who was trying to persecute you, persecute every person who believed in Jesus, trying to persecute every person who believed in the way. And Jesus reminds him and encourages him and assures him, it is okay. I have chosen you to proclaim me to the Gentiles, to the people who don't believe, to the people who don't even know, who don't even understand or have any idea that there is a God, the one true God. For the person who wishes to climb the mountain of faith, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 22, verse 17 onwards, is so beautifully inspiring. After I had returned to Jerusalem, that is Paul saying to each one of us, and while I was praying in the temple, I fell into a trance and saw Jesus saying to me, hurry and get out of Jerusalem quickly because they will not accept your testimony about me. And I, and I said, Lord, they themselves know that in every synagogue I imprisoned and beat those who believed in you. And while the blood of your witness Stephen was shed, I myself was standing by, approving and keeping the coats of those who killed him. Then he said to me, go, for I will send you far away to the Gentiles. Each one has a purpose. Each one of us has a purpose, my dear friends. Do not worry if your testimony is not accepted within your own people. Surely the Lord will lead you somewhere. If you continue to walk in his ways, repent and come back to him. He will surely lead you to a place where your testimony of the faith will be accepted and many souls will come to the Lord's fold. God bless you all.